Coach Human here. I want to go through a, one of the most important plays, I think, um, and, and most dominant plays that, that Oklahoma runs. Um, it could be really applied to high school. We call it the GT counter, um, which essentially uh, allows uh, the, the backs to have a power play. And it gives you a really easy RPO off it. So we'll show you uh, first first the GT counter, and then then we'll go and show you um, off of it. So when you watch the GT counter from Oklahoma, okay, the most important thing to understand is that in the GT counter, you'll see a kick out and a, and a wrap around here um, with the back getting the opportunity to to get the football with a read with a read that's going to come off of uh, this backside end a lot of times as well. So you could do it multiple ways, but you'll see uh, they'll, they'll block and uh, be able to run that count, GT counter. So it's essentially a power play. You have the guard and tackle pulling, okay, wrapping around with a lead, lead on the end, with a backside read on the end. So here you go, you got lead on the outside linebacker, kick out, wrap around, GT counter. There it is. Let me see. Here's a good example of it. Run the other way. Same thing. Block the outside linebacker. So it can be run two ways. So it depends on, on what you're looking to be able to do, but you can bring it with a lead. So the quarterback has a lead if he pulls. And then you could also do it where you have a, a full power with a block in the outside linebacker, kick on the end, wrap around uh, for, for a counter. There it is again. Okay, good. All right, I want to show you now from a, sc from a screen standpoint, from a playbook standpoint, how you could actually run this with an RPO. So now with an RPO, you start to look at the space available based off of what the outside linebacker is doing. So if the outside linebacker is playing in this area, you have three on three, you're still pretty good. We roll up three over three, something like this, okay? Then you're you're looking to give this the best way for them to be able to play it. Just uh, make sure I have my corner here. Okay. Um, this allows them multiple ways to be able to, pull, uh, to do the GT counter uh, with the kick out. And if you – with out of trips, you have a nice R, uh, RPO off it where you can read. If you got man-to-man -man, – um, you're, you're in a situation where you have one-on-one -on -one matchups with throwing the RPO, more than likely you're looking to give because you're, you're going to have numbers. Um, and, and if you, you, what you really could do is read this backside end, um, and you could use this as window dressing. Okay. So, uh, the, there's multiple ways that you can run the RPO. Um, but if you have someone showing in that area and you have zone, you're throwing it, um, if you have a, a, a complete removal of the box type of situation where you get something like this, then you're, you're obviously giving it at all times. So, um, you know, team plays in a 3-2, which they could do, uh, you're giving this. You're going to have the numbers, okay? So what uh, Oklahoma did was they ran at two backs out of the backfield. And they ran something like this. Uh, with the power, you could read the backside end for the quarterback. Um, or you could also go and run it where uh, this guy 
is in this situation, you're running power backside for the quarterback, and you have power front side. So you got multiple ways that you can run this GT counter and really be effective with an RPO without it. All right? Coach Schumann, uh, signing off.